Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to automatically stop and start AWS EC2 instance with Lambda functions. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Go on to YouTube, find the channel Azure Cloud Chef, hit on the subscribe button, hit on the bell icon so you will get a notification as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you. I am inside the AWS console and if you will uh, you will have to go to the IAM console under AWS if you do not see IAM under history click right IAM here click on it go on to the IAM settings the IAM console and then you would have to click on roles we will have to create a new role there are some predefined role here as well but for this to start and stop the instant you will have to create a new role so let's say I, I created a new role ec2 start stop role here and uh, if you will see the description it says allow lambda functions to call aws service on your behalf so uh, what role does it it allows the lambda function to call aws service on your behalf so every time you would not be uh, there to trigger the lambda function so you are leveraging a lambda function to run using this role permissions that you will assign so in role when you will create a role you will have to assign a policy or permissions or trust relationships to this All right so if you will go under the permissions tab you can attach policies here which are predefined it will come up like here Let's say I want to and I give the EC2 full access to this role. Then I will type EC2 and you will see EC2 full access. You can select it and then click on attach policy. Or you can create a new policy using the JSON template. Click on JSON and then you can add the, the access that you want to give. You want to give the access on to EC2, you want to give the access on S3. I'll show you some videos on how to create a policy and how does it work. But for this video, let me show you the policy definition file I already have. So, if you will click here, you have a role. Come on, you have this. Click on this role permission policy so I created this permission policy this one effect would be allow action would be logs create loop logs effect allow easy to start stop resource off so this is the JSON template that I created you can edit it you can modify it in the, you can do it in the visual editor you can do it under JSON and if you would see visual editor use this. you can do this as well so whatever you do here there would be a JSON template already defined whatever way you like so you attached a policy to the role then you would have this role defined like yeah, I have this role right then we move on to the lambda function if you see lambda under history it's good if you do not see click on type in lambda here click on it you will be under lambda services on the amazon console this is the unused um, i'll do a lab on this as well so let's say you create a function author from scratch ec2 stop on start let's say we do is ec2 stop lambda function and in the runtime the code that i have it's under python 2.7 select the version whatever language version you use you can use that select that i'll use python 2.7 now here is the permissions that will run on your behalf so either you can create a new role or use an existing role my existing role is ec2 start stop role I have the permissions you create a function here click on create function you got it. 
now when you click on here this is the place where you paste and edit the code that this function will actually do okay so you will do this this is the code and make sure that stop your in instances so i'm in northern virginia so the region is us east one us east one and these are the instances that have not been created so you would have to go under ec2 dashboard create an instance to stop an instance there should be an instance i should have created it earlier but it will take not more than two minutes let me provision a linux instance really quickly let's go with the default options all ports hit on launch i have this key pair within no time i would have an instance let me terminate it or i'll start it i'll show you how to start it so if you would go under ebs let me check one thing here all righty it's here so i'll go there there so this is the instance id that is running so and this is in northern virginia us is to 1a i'll go to my lambda function and would paste my instance id there i'll get rid of this all right i'll save it probably it'll take its time to save execution rule start rule no vpc timeout let's say i'll do it 10 seconds i save it it is saved okay let's say this is save if you want to test it it will run but let's say you want to attach a trigger at what time you want to stop this execution stop this uh, instance i'm sorry so you want to stop this instance you will not go automatically so what is the use of setting up a lambda function if you will have to do it manually you would test it or run it then it will be stopped or you would have you would have to add a trigger that will invoke this lambda function and as you all know lambda function does not charge you until and unless it is triggered so if you have a lambda function it will not be charged you will have to invoke the function with a test event or you want to add a trigger let's say you add a trigger here you would add a trigger of a cloud watch event you can add a trigger of api gateway you can add an alexa skill set a chat bot alexa smart home code commit dynamo db and you can have a trigger of a data dog one login okay i'll go with cloud watch event oh right i'll create a new role role name would be ec2 stop role you want to set an event pattern or you want to say let a crone expression it's these are the crone expression crone expression you want to have to set the time but not you cannot set a time by sending a drop down you have to select the crone expression i will set the crone expression in the coming videos i will make a separate video to show you the examples on what are available on the amazon documentation so this is the way you can set up a trigger and if you want to test this let's say you want to test this function if this is working or not you see that there is an instance which is running i go into my lambda function i click on test this so i will make it an event event name event this is a sample event that will trigger this lambda function all right let's see how it 
goes executing function details succeeded see the logs let's see the instance if you will refresh this see the instance is stopping all right this instance is stopping so the lambda function was triggered this instance is stopped and let's say you want to start this instance now the one which is stopped then you would go to this lambda function again change the code replace the instance id this second one is stopped you want to start it or you can start the one which is go to lambda function here it is paste it remove this change the region name this is east save it save it then click on test status is failed it says invalid instance it's tried with this one e say test status is succeeded i go into my instance i refresh it see it is pending so it's initializing right terminate shutting down terminate so it was initializing it was started this is how it works i hope this was video this video was useful for all of you guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please mention in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video thank you have a great day ahead bye bye